Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my another video with another uh, video about the ice cream sandwich. Now, this is the Android 4.0.4, rooted on my uh, uh, sorry, flashed on my Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, this is actually the F1 version that I've uh, ported. So um, let's go ahead and have a closer look at what's new to it. Alright, so first of all, there's the um, really, really classic Nexus um, uh, locking effect. So that's pretty cool. And it's got the lock screen. So it, this, there goes the date, which you can actually put the weather as well. The weather. Alright, so there's the lock screen. So you get the camera and the lock button. Alright, so notification bar. So completely new. So you can go to the setting there. Now, if you actually have a, actually I don't have notification at the moment, so I can't see you guys. I can't show you that. I cannot show you guys what it looks like. But um, well, all right. So there's the settings. So you know you get the face unlocking the security. Um, all right. So let's go here. Alright, so as you can see, Android 4.0.4 F1 version, build number IM761. Alright. Alright, so this this ROM is actually super good. As as in super good. It's like pure Google experience, you know. Pure Galaxy Nexus, you know. Pretty much you're holding um pretty much you're you know, I feel like I'm playing with the Galaxy Nexus except it, I don't have the actual device itself, so. Um, but you know, using it on the Galaxy S2 is is so good. Alright, so there you go, the classic buttons. So you get the folders over there. Um, so you know, even I'm I'm running a lot of widgets. I'm actually you know not getting any lags whatsoever. Alright, so let's go to the menu. So you see nice that you see that nice transition. So we will try and put up one widget so you guys can see. There you go. Let's get rid of that again. Alright, so see there's all the your widgets. Alright, so we'll try the. Uh, we'll try using the network now. So I just turned off the Wi-Fi. So as you can see, I'm getting HSDPA. So that's pretty good. Or HSP HSPA actually. It's not. It's not on the plus yet. Alright, so um, we'll go to Google. Alright, so that's not bad. Technobuffalo.com. Alright, there we go. That was quick. Almost done. That's done. That's pretty good. The pinch system is good. No lag whatsoever. No checkerboards. Oh, that's good. Alright, there you go. So you know it's pretty fast. Alright, now I'll connect to the Wi-Fi again, and we'll try the score of this cell phone. Uh, of this, we'll try the quadrant to see the performance. Run full benchmark. <coughs> Let's see how good is the performance. By the way, if you haven't um, know that I've actually got a new uh, Facebook page, which I'll be also putting uh, the link up, uh, down below 
in the description bar so it would be cool if you guys like it and you know um, share your share some ideas as well on that uh, page because pretty much it's for everyone so it's cool that so I can also interact with you guys so you know we will pretty much be sharing what we know about technology so that's that's the cool stuff about it alright so almost done <clears throat> nearly done just a few seconds away alright and here we go alright so my device scored 3153 now that's that's pretty good because um, it's not first of all it's not overclocked so you know as you can, it's better than the galaxy it's a lot its performance better than the te, uh, Samsung Galaxy tab as well as the Galaxy Nexus and the Atrix 4G now I gotta try I'll see I'll gotta try and uh, overclock this so uh, and and try with the HTC One X uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that so yeah that's just my uh, quick walkthrough of the um, ICS ROM 4.0.4 ported on the Galaxy S2 and I will see you on my next video bye bye